go over today with you the final project. So if you go into BB Learn, you'll see this. It's a final project folder. In there, you got the requirements, you've got an integrated work plan template, you've got two different uh, sets of plans and specifications, the engineering building and the Native American Cultural Center. Uh, you've got, look here to find out which trade and project you are assigned to, because you are going to be assigned to a trade and to a project, and that is right there for you, and then a place to turn this in. So I wanna go over the final project requirements with you. Here's your requirements. I wanna go over this with you. So the first part of this, there's four different things. You are going to uh, be assigned a scope of work as a subcontractor. So you have been selected by the general contractor as the subcontractor to perform the scope of work that has been assigned to you on the project. Congratulations, now the work as a subcontractor begins. The GC to which you are now contracted to is requiring that you analyze your role on the job site and the specific job site conditions that apply to your trade, okay? So you are gonna be a subcontractor. That's what that document is in BB Learn that tells you which building and which subcontractor you are. Okay, so you can go take a look at that when you have a chance. Now your deliverables. So the first part of this is four different things. The first thing is a schedule and then a procurement schedule. So those two things. So the first thing you need to do is schedule your scope of work. Create a trade-specific schedule. Now, this is just for your trade, but you need to take into consideration other trades that may be working around you. So if you're a mechanical guy, then you need to take into consideration that there's plumbing and there's electrical that are going to work around you. You need to plug in, you don't need to go into a detailed schedule about those guys, but you need to show me where they're, they are at in your schedule, okay? Uh, so start your work on the site July 11th or the nearest Monday. Create a procurement submittal log for your trade only. So as you remember, go into the specifications, find out what submittals are required for your specific trade, and do a submittal log for those. The dates that the material needs to be delivered to the site, those come from your schedule, as you'll remember from doing this in class. Uh, for that, I want you to write a paragraph describing which submittals will need special attention and are there lead time concerns. So you'll have, first of all, a schedule done in Microsoft Project, then you'll have a procurement schedule done in Excel, and then you'll have a paragraph that explains things about critical submittals and long lead items. Okay, the next thing you need to do is a job site layout and coordination plan for your trade. Now, you've done this before. Material deliveries, when and where, special concerns, material installation and equipment, these are things you need to take into consideration, and waste considerations. Now, some of you, the thing that's gonna be different about this is that you might have an interior trade so you may be doing an interior job site layout and coordination plan. Uh, there might be some things like if you're a mechanical guy, you might need to leave out a section of windows so that you can get materials in and out and trash in and out. How are you, how are you going to make your way through the building? And what are you going to do about material deliveries? Are you going to have a crane on site? Are you going to have a forklift on site? How are you going to get those materials into the building? What's your plan? How are you going to get deliveries onto the site and off the site? So that may need to take into consideration things like the job site fence and how you're getting into the site. But I don't care about hold johns and job site trailers and things like that. Don't worry about that. Okay. And then uh, that's, that's the third thing you need to do. The fourth thing you need to do is a coordination with other trades. So you need to do a one-page document. This is probably in bullet point format that says, what do you need from trades working on the same system before you, okay? So if you're a steel guy, what do you need from the concrete guy? If you're, and if you're a uh, drywall guy, what do you need? If you're a mechanical guy, what do you need from trades working before you? And then what do, you, what do trades working on the same system after you need? So if you are a drywall guy, paint comes after you, what do they need from you? You know, what level of quality do they need, et cetera? And then the third thing is what considerations are there for trades working in the same area? So if you're a mechanical guy, you're going to have lots of trades working in the same area. You're going to have 
electrical trades and the plumber and uh, all these different trades of the framer working around you. So uh, what uh, considerations are there for those trades working in the same area? So these four things I want you to put together. I want you to PDF and I want you to put into one document. Okay, so that's going to be one part that you submit. The next thing, this integrated work plan. I'm going to show you the integrated work plan. You'll be required to fill out this integrated work plan. And then the second thing here is create a maximum two minute video explaining the items on your integrated work plan as if you're a subcontractor explaining it to a superintendent. Okay, so you are the sub. You've put together this integrated work plan, and for this integrated work plan, you're gonna to need to choose one big task. So if you're uh, structural concrete, maybe it's your spread footings. If you are mechanical, maybe it's your duct work, maybe it's your air handler units. Whatever your biggest task is within your trade, I want you to do the integrated work plan based on that. Okay, and then you're gonna do a two minute video, uh, you may want to do a video like this where you bring up a, a screen share and explain what this is. So I'm going to go into the integrated work plan for you. Give me a second to bring it up here. There is a template in BB Learn for you. Okay, so this is the integrated work plan. You can zoom in. This is a pretty big document right here. Uh, but up in the left-hand corner, you'll see safety. So what I want to know is any safety concerns specifically for that task, okay? Whatever task it is. If it's your spread footings, then what are the safety concerns for that task? You're gonna have open trenches. You're gonna have equipment running around, backhoes. You're gonna have lots of different uh, things with concrete and rebar, safety concerns, okay? The, the next box down here on your left is quality. What are you going to do to make sure, just like in your quality control checklist that you did a couple weeks ago, what are you going to do to make sure that the quality is there for this particular task? Okay, so look, down, it says down at the bottom, this section to include issues such as required inspections and frequency, critical tolerances, levels of expectation, key performance indicators, etc. Where are you going to get that? You're going to get that from your specifications. All right, so you're remembering. Over here on the upper right-hand corner, we've got, you got crew name, signature. Uh, that's not all that important, but over here to the right, you've got requ required crew size, how many work hours, how much productivity requirements. Down below, you've got materials and quantity, and then over to the right of that, tools and equipment and quantity. So I want you to estimate some of this stuff. Now, it doesn't have to be exact. This is not estimating class. But I want you to have a good idea of what's going to go into this task. And then productivity requirements up here, you can figure out work hours and required crew. Okay. Now, down here, I want you to come up with a task list, task list of what you need to do for that task. Reference documents might be your plans, your specifications, your OSHA book, whatever it might be. Uh, revision history, uh, that's like the plan dates. And then your name down here. Down at the bottom, schedule. So what's your milestones for this task? And then describe those milestones and kind of do a very simple laid out block schedule for this right here. In the middle, what I want you to do is I want you to go to the plans and I want you to screen capture the, or, or you know screen clippings, different details and put them into this uh, center area. Uh, post them right into the middle there. And those should describe what you're doing. So if it's footings, maybe you have the footing schedule and maybe you have some footing details, some footing cuts. Put those in there. Anything you need for that project, go ahead and put it right there in the middle. And then what you're going to do when you have all that, you're going to make your two minute video. And maybe you can make it just like this where you're showing and you're saying, okay, we got safety over here. We got quality over here. We got our crew and materials. Uh, this is what we're going to do. This is how fast we're going to do it. Uh, this is my integrated work plan. And so what this is, is it's getting you to think about one task in particular in detail and explain that to somebody. Okay. So this is your final project. Uh, the way the, the scoring is broke down 
You've got 60 points for those first four things, and you've got 40 points for this integrated work plan in the video. And that would be it. That's it for the, the final project. Don't wait till the end to do this. I would spend 30 minutes uh, one day and then 30 minutes a couple days later and then 30 minutes a couple days later. Just organize yourselves so that you're not doing this at the last minute because if you're doing this at the last minute, it's not going to be good. And this is a good chunk of your grade.